This isn't a battle anymore. It's a motherfucking war. Hello, welcome to another episode of Hey So Those Guys Game of the Week. I'm Nick Silviano, this is Connor Jagger, and today's game is Show Them Learn to. Awkward slowdown. And we'll see you next week on Hey So Those Guys Game of the Week. <laughs> you thought so. <laughs> anyway. So, Lunar 2, uh, the sequel, sequel to Lunar, which takes place obviously. a thousand years later. Oh, go ahead. Well, like I said, it's the sequel to the original Lunar game, a thousand years later, which, if you can believe it, at one point, it, at one point in this game, you actually get a letter that says that the woman in the previous game, Luna, knew that everything in this game was going to happen. That makes sense? Yeah. Luna knew that everything that happened in this game was going to happen. And... When you get to that part, it's like, wait a minute, so, gee, this was actually going to happen? And you're like, oh, and then you're like, eh, oh, whatever. There's, this is probably one of the games I know that actually has a whole epilogue section that's not Tales of Legendia. So, basically, uh, you know, like you said, the game takes place a thousand years later, and uh, the it's big more, threat... It's more adult. The big threat of the game is the evil god, I guess it's a god, Zophar, returned from being in a magical prison for, like, probably millions of years, I don't know. You pretty much find out how uh, the lo world of Lunar came to be, how everybody ended up over there, what happened to the Blue Star, which is obviously planet Earth, that caused all the shit to happen, that caused them to come on the moon, and all the stuff that happened there. Um, returning characters are Dragon... Well, now he's Dragon Master Galleon, the uh, big bad from the first step, from he the first one. He looks like a zombie, doesn't he? Well, he did come back from the dead. And who brought him back? And we all know who brought him back from the dead. So basically, you know, you find out there's some evil plot between. Apparently, there's a goddess Althena, a dragon master, the dragon master Galleon, and the little and the little group of heroes who Null? have to stand up. And some, yes, Nall does make a return. He's now the he white dragon from the first one. He knows how to take human form. Imagine if they made a Lunar Three. You would saw what Ruby looked like in human form. And also. Well, if chrono chronologically, lunar this lunar is actually the last in the series. There are a couple other lunar games that didn't. Some of them didn't really get here to America. There's like one other that came for the DS called Dragon something. Dragon Song. Something like that. I heard it sucked because you lose uh, HP for running. What? Yeah. Uh, we haven't played that game, but if anybody wants to, we should totally get the game and then do a review of it. We have a DS. Or you do. I don't know. Yeah, but where the hell are you going to get So going? anyway, oh, and I forgot to mention, uh, probably the most important part is one of the main characters is Lucia, who is the sole remainder left on a blue star who's supposed to stay there until it gets reborn. Reborn. And she comes to the planet, the world of Lunar, because she senses Zophar's presence, and her plan is to actually destroy him, but in doing so, it's actually going to destroy the whole planet of Lunar. But, you know, you eventually... Uh, you got your guy here who, fi who finds a way around it. And she doesn't know anything about people. She's, like, all weird. And she's, like... She doesn't know the ways of humanity. She's called a destroyer, which... when By the time you actually know the plot of the game, you figure Most she's people a think destroyer. she's a destroyer because one of, the, one of the four heroes is, like, lied to. And, you know, he eventually, like, comes to his senses and shit like that. So, anyway... Um, yeah, so Lunar 2, a little... Diff a Better little music. Lunar 2 in the first one, um... Kind of have its dark times. One of my biggest complaints of it, the dungeons were just way too long. I mean, damn, yeah. especially the blue and the blue dragon cave and the black dragon cave. Yeah, oh, those man. were like ten floors deep. You're like, ten? Ugh. I think like the black dragon cave was like floor 19 or something. Yeah. So you're sitting there trying to battle your way to all these to all these bad guys and you're leveling up and it's like, She's like, and then you, with all the leveling up you do, it's, sometimes it's still not enough to beat the boss. Then, then you fight the fake dragons, and that's another drag out of battle. I'd say the hardest is the blue fiend. And then after, oh yeah, that yeah, I hate that guy. And then pretty much after that, uh, you proceed to the final. You get the ending. The, what, you appear is the what appears to be the final stages of the game. Sort of is. It's like the end of the second third of the game. So after you beat the game, you get a nice little epilogue where you get another uh, three or four hours of playtime in. Come more if you like explore around because there's some areas that open up that weren't open. Uh, in two or three areas open up. All it is is you get Alex's Ocarina for the first one, basically the soundtrack, the in-game soundtrack. You get this thing called the Hero's Crest, which is an enemy when you see it, and you have to beat the crap out of it in order to get it. There's the uh, I forgot the name of the cave, but you get a King's Crest at the end, and you're basically fighting doppelgangers through it. 
If there's a boss in there, I have no idea. Okay, this is not getting interesting anymore. How's it not interesting? Well, we can't reveal everything. I mean, they got to play it to figure out for themselves. So anyway, okay. let's just wrap this up. Stop talking. Well, no, no, stop it. <laughs> approval! Yeah, approval. Alright, so this has been another episode of Hey, It's Those Guys Game of the Week. I bet you're wishing we did end it, like, really quick like we did before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See you next time.